as of today, when I am recording this, the Bad Batch Shuttle, or the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle, as the set says, the 75314 with 969 pieces, has been officially released for pre-orders. And, well, let's, let's go over it. This set will be um, retailing for $100, and here we can see the minifigures on screen, as well as two speeder bikes and the shuttle itself. This image is, of course, the leaked one from earlier on, just now in better quality, where we can see all the figures, the actual like, main vehicle, the shuttle, as well as two speeder bikes and that gonk droid as well, all laid out here, the, the hair pieces. And, uh, yeah, also the uh, main control center, like the roof of that is printed. But here we can see them in like a um, kind of action scene, I suppose. The control area is opened up, um, tech's helmet's off, I don't really know why. And, uh, yeah, overall, from these images, it looks nice. The sand blue does work well, and I've watched the show, and it's still kind of hard to tell, because in some close-up shots, it, it appears to be a mix. Opening it up, we can see there's a nice interior. You can fit four figures inside of it, and also um, there's a small, con like, c compartment in there. Some people have expressed, like, fears that Tex helmet might not fit because it's too big, but even so, you could probably just, like, put them in the back where it might fit, or just put it in the little container, which I just mentioned. But yeah, you can fit four figures and everything opens up, but you can also have like just the control center opened up, which is really nice for playability. As for the figures, we have a gonk droid. We have, well, uh, we have Hunter here. He's kind of like hard to see in the moment he's in a corner, but he does have a knife. We have Wrecker who looks great with a nice torso armor and the Iron Man helmet does work well. Check with the new helmet and nice backpack. We have um, Echo, which doesn't have a waist cape, does have arm printing which is nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the prosthetic arm. Unfortunately, that's just a regular hand. And then we have Crosshair with the Imperial Death Trooper-inspired armor. It looks pretty nice, and there is like a slight skin tone, like hint you can see there. It's not gonna be like a blacked out face. It'll probably still have his. It's just not shown in any of the other images. Overall, these look nice. I kind of wish there was maybe some more arm printing. Oh, that's neither here nor there. We can see the back of the box, some more features where the spring-loaded shooters are in that compartment that I mentioned earlier on. The spring-loaded shooters are, of course, in the bottom. But, uh, yeah, this set's uh, able to be pre-ordered, or it might be back orders now. I feel like it's probably already sold out within the first day. But thank you for watching, and I will continue to have more updates for more LEGO Star Wars Summer of 2021 sets. So get your pre-orders in if you want it, because this set is not going to last very long for pre-orders. Stay safe.